Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I'm just doing a quick vid for you. This is on my goop. I've gotten tons of questions um, in the comment section about how I make goop or what goop is. Goop is what I actually grease my pan with. Now, you can use spray, you can use shortening, you can flour or butter and flour, however you like to grease your pans. Um, I find this method really easy. I got the recipe from my aunt and I've been using it ever since. Everything I bake when I use goop comes out super easy. Let me show you how I make it. Into my bowl, I'm gonna put one cup of oil. Um, you can use whatever kind of oil you want. I wouldn't use olive oil though because otherwise it's going to taste like olive oil and you're baked good. <laughs> Unless you like that flavor of course and you use it a lot but um, I would use an, an oil that doesn't have a big strong flavor. This is just regular vegetable oil but you can use vegetable oil, coconut oil, canola oil, um, avocado oil. Those don't have a lot of flavors. One cup of all-purpose flour. one cup of vegetable shortening. You do have to use the vegetable shortening as well. So if you don't like vegetable shortening, um, or if you don't use it, you may not want to make this. You can probably use animal fat, but if you do, if you use lard, you need to keep this in the refrigerator. I keep it in the refrigerator anyway because I'm in Arizona and it's too hot for it in the cupboard. Um, but if you're in the northern states, you can keep it in the cupboard. You don't have to refrigerate it if you're going to use it fast enough. If it's something you're hardly going to use, keep it in the fridge. And you can use your whisk attachment. I've used my paddle. You can use your paddle too. It just doesn't get as fluffy. If you use this, it gets really whippy. Okay. I'm gonna give this a quick little scrape down just to make sure I got everything mixed up here. Make sure there are no lumps. There you go, nice and fluffy. This is the container I keep it in, right in the fridge. And this is what I use instead of spray. If you bake a lot, you can certainly double this recipe. Okay, I keep this right in my fridge because it's too hot for it in my cupboard. This is great because it's almost everything that goes into your baked good. Um, oil, shortening, and flour. So um, you could probably make this gluten free as well. I wouldn't use almond flour, um, but you could probably maybe get away with coconut in this. Um, or rice flour you could do this would be okay with rice flour um so you can make it gluten free if you want you can definitely use coconut oil i use coconut oil for most things these days um but i used vegetable oil in this today because i have more vegetable oil than coconut oil right now and i'm just greasing my pan with it so i don't care but you can totally use anything that you want to use whatever you use in your baking. This makes it so much easier and it's way more cost effective than going out and buying cans of sprays. And as you know, the baking season is quickly approaching. <laughs> so that's a money saving tip for you for your holiday season. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should. I pretty much post daily what I'm up to around here. I'm also on Facebook and you can go to my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. I will go ahead and put this up on my blog too and I'll probably put it under the everything else tab so you can go there. If you want to print this off and keep it in your cookbook. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.